already. Woo! Right now, the rat bike doesn't have any spark. But one way or another, by the end of today, that's gonna change. Last year, we had this bike running, and it was awesome. But we tried to start it up a second time, and all of a sudden, we had zero spark. And we know why it doesn't have spark. The two things that go wrong with these old DTs is the ignition, the CDI unit itself, and the pulsar coil. And we know that our ignition is good. We also have a second good ignition, uh, but the pulsar coil right now is showing an open circuit, no continuity. So we need to fix that. Upon looking at the unit, we found a loose wire that connects to that pulsar coil. It actually broke off. So what we're going to do first is solder that connection back together and then test it out. So starting with a continuity test. Here's our white and green and white and red. Nothing. Nothing at all. So as you saw, there's not even any continuity. So we still have an open circuit, which means our solder repair did not work. Unfortunately, the pulsar coil is bad and it's really hard to find just a pulsar coil. So we're gonna do some research and see what else is out there. Uh, it might be a whole entire new uh, electrical kit, new stator assembly, we'll see. And uh, we'll get back to you when we're there. All right, we're done playing around with electronics. Uh, I gave in and bought a really nice solid state electrical system. So, check it out. All right, this is the vape, or V-A-P-E something, I don't know. Electrical system for Yamaha DT250, 360, 400. And this kit is badass. You can build it aluminum construction, solid state electronics. even give you a new freaking flywheel. Peanut butter and ladies. Like cocaine and waffles. Uh, ignition, coil. A rectifier. Connectifier. <laughs> <laughs> Electrifier. Oh sh he broke it. <laughs> well, that didn't take long. <laughs> the warranty is voided. Break it. What do you have a degree in? Or does that do contact with that? It does. Just put a little rubber, put the foreskin back on it, <laughs> <laughs> plug it in. <laughs> Always wear your hood. So you can even remove your coil wire if you're into that. Something. Either way, this is going to be badass and the bike will finally spark. Before we install this thing, our first order of business is cleaning up this bike. My hairy, see your hairy ass mop. <laughs> I'll trim it up. <laughs> your hair or the video? So she's a lot cleaner now. That shaft is what we really care about because that's where everything mounts to. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and install it. One interesting thing about this stator is that the flywheel does not have a keyway. So we actually had to take the key off of the shaft in order to get this flywheel on it. And then indexing it was really interesting. You put the piston at ignition position, you take this line in the top, and you line it up with that little line, it's kind of hard to see, but that little line in the billet, in the frame right there. 
right there. So once it's in ignition position, you slide the flywheel on in this location, and then you tighten it down. And if you ever want to do a timing change later on, you don't have to take your flywheel entirely off. I mean, unless you really mess something up. But assuming you did it right, all you do is back out the three bolts that they include, and then all you have to do is rotate the stator in order to change the timing on that. So pretty cool, but a little bit different upon initial installation. So here we have our new electronics all hooked up, ready to go. Uh, so the coil with the spark plug, coil with the spark plug. Uh, we got these wires hooked up from the coil uh, down to the stator, right there. Uh, we got our new CDI, or rectifier, whatever it is, electrifier. Got it all hooked up. These wires are for the accessories, which we don't have hooked up, obviously, because we don't have any accessories. But we're going to get some spark, whether you like it or not. Alrighty. So we fixed our electrical woes, which is super exciting. Uh, the spark from that is better than it's ever been, just visually. And I'm really excited to get this bike back together and running uh, like we had it before, except new and improved with that nice new ignition. So we have a lot more stuff coming up. We need to get the fuel system together, the brakes, everything else. So if you enjoy this, this wrap bike, it's only getting further along in its progress. And uh, we're gonna continue to work on that so we're excited to release new content. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Woo! Hot damn. Ow. <laughs> Gotta ground your plug. It sparks, as you can see.